Still in Lagos, uh, the government has started moving 300 people affected by the Abu Legba pipeline explosion to the Gondo Emergency Relief and Resettlement Camp in the Limosho local government area of the state. The internally displaced persons are appealing to well-meaning Nigerians to complement the government's effort in getting them back to on their feet. Jacques Lenogo reports. Home would have been the best place to be. But in the midst of their pains, the people displaced from their houses by the raging fire from the Abule Egba pipeline explosion say an unexpected half bread in a hard time is better than none. You cannot compare your home with how time. That is what they are trying. They, 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 in fact, they really amaze me. Traumatized 78 years old Lassisi Adekola is a widower who lost his house to the inferno. He is happy to be alive. There is water, there is toilet, the food, their food is okay. Lassisi's pregnant daughter in law, left with nothing, is very disturbed about how to start all over again with her tensed up husband. When the whole thing happened, and my husband looked at me and asked me, ah, where do we start from? So, we need help. Joseph Adetunji is comforted by the fact that he was able to squeeze out a token from the money the deputy governor gave him when he visited them to get the clothing he has on. But Adetunji, just like many others, is very worried about his children's bond certificates and documents. Their stomachs are right now being fed, but they worry about life after the camp. The Director General of Lagos State Emergency Management Agency says they will be cared for all through their stay in the camp. We've started talking to the skill uh, empowerment ministry. They are coming to do a sort of vocational um, skill acquisition for the mothers. We are going to start doing a sort of nursery school in, in, in here. Here at the Igondo Emergency Relief and Settlement Center, the faces of the people look different. Some look very troubled, some can still smile, and some you can't even tell what's going on on their minds. This is a situation which people can actually come out with mental depression before you know it. The very reason why the government must get medical counselors into this place, as well as security agents. Some of them are in a state whereby if you provoke them, just a little provocation can make them get very violent and even murderous. That's because they are highly frustrated. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.